Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a film noir movie opening title design. Film noir is a cinematic term that describes the stark, dramatic, black and white visual style of Hollywood crime dramas from the 1940s through the 1950s. I created this one and will show you how to make it using your own text. This document is 2400 by 1800 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. I provided a PSD file that includes this movie studio information and this outer edge stain if you'd like to use it. In addition, I provided this cloth texture which is similar to those used as backgrounds for the titles of film noir movies. Before we begin, it's important to note that the 3D features in Photoshop are only available in the extended versions and 3D is not supported in Windows XP. Open the PSD file and make the black background visible. Open your type tool and go to Window and Character. Then back to Window and Paragraph. I'm choosing Center Text for this example. Open the Character panel and choose a font. I'm using Montgomery which can be downloaded from the link or font file I provided in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial showing you how to do this. I provided the direct link as well. Click on the color box and type in 60 percent for brightness. Type out your text. If you want to reduce the size of a word or line highlight it and slide the T icon to the left. To reposition your text, click on your Move tool and move it. Now you can close your text panels. Open the cloth texture file. We'll remove all the color by pressing Control shift u on a PC or Command shift u on a Mac. To get it into our movie title document, click anywhere on it and drag it up onto the Film Noir tab. Press Shift and drag it down onto the document and release. Pressing Shift centers the texture on the document. Drag the texture below your text and then make your text active. Go to Layer, Rasterize and Type. With the text layer active, shift click on the texture which highlights both layers. Press Ctrl T on a PC or Command T on a Mac to open your transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command 0. Go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac. Then drag it to the edge of the document and press Enter or Return. To fit it back on your screen, press Ctrl or Command 0 again. The reason we've reduced the size of the texture and text will become apparent once we angle it in 3D. Click on the texture to make it active and go to 3D, New Mesh from Layer, and Postcard. Then click Yes. Open your Layers panel and make your text active. Go back to 3D and choose New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. Go back to your Layers panel and shift click on your texture to highlight both layers. Go to 3D and Merge 3D Layers. Open your 3D panel and click Environment. At the top there are five 3D modes. Rotate, Roll, Drag, Slide, and Scale. I covered 3D in depth in another tutorial. Its link is in the video's description. By clicking on the 3D modes, you can manipulate your object in 3D space. I'll click on the slide mode, click on the image, and drag the cursor up. This slides the image towards us, making it appear closer and larger. By clicking on the rotate mode and dragging the cursor around, our image rotates at an angle. Notice we still have enough of the cloth texture background after rotating it. If we continue to rotate it around, we'll ultimately see where the texture ends. Since I like this angle, 
I'll simply click on the slide mode again and slide it forward and over. We're ready to light our 3D objects. To see all of our light source, we need to zoom our document down. Press Z to open your zoom tool and press and hold Alt or Option and click a few times to zoom out. Open your Move tool and click on the light bulb. Click on the icon on the bottom right and choose New Spotlight. As before, play with the 3D modes until you're happy with the size, angle, and position of the spotlight. It may take a while to get the hang of using these modes, but ultimately you'll get the results you like. Fit the image back on your screen and double click on the icon next to Spotlight. Make sure shadow is checked and experiment with the softness. I'm choosing 20 for this example, however you may find a larger number works better. Check Light Fall Off and click the Render button at the bottom. Depending on your computer specs, rendering time varies greatly. To reduce the rendering time, go to Edit, Preferences, and 3D. In the Ray Tracer section, reduce the number in the High Quality Threshold from the default of 5. Try 3 or 4. Keep in mind, the lower the number, the more noise will appear in your final image. Also, make sure there's enough VRAM allotted to Photoshop. I won't recommend a specific amount or percentage for any of your specs in your computer, since it could affect the performance of other programs. Check with Adobe or the manufacturer of your computer for recommendations. After your image is fully rendered, open your Layers panel and make the Movie Studio information visible. Drag it above your movie title. If you want to add some stains around your image, make the stains layer visible and drag it to the top. Make the blend mode soft light and the opacity 30%. For my image, I'll hide the stains. To simulate the graininess of old movies, we'll add some grain. Make the top visible layer active and press Control shift alt e on a PC or Command-Shift-Option-E on a Mac to make a composite snapshot of your entire image. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open your texture folder and choose Grain. Make the intensity 40, the contrast 50, and the grain type clumped. The filter added a bit of color to the grain, so desaturate your image. Have fun making your own custom film noir movie opening titles just like the Hollywood crime dramas from the 1940s and 50s. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.